Hello and welcome to Factorio Raw. In this episode I want to connect the, the oil and possibly the water, well the oil and water and possibly make a water station somewhere to get the water to our, uh, to our oil processing stuff. I figured out that I don't need the pipes to be over here. I can have them where we have the uh, trains. So let's... Uh, uh, there we have the number two button. Yeah, I know. So basically what we can do... How did we say? Oil... Uh, I don't want to stand it there. Oil, water and scrap. So let's do the same. Actually the oil can be wherever. Hmm. Let's go down and have a quick look how this looks. Oh yeah, it, it might mean that we have to move all of this down and possibly a bit of this as well. We, we, we will figure that out. But I don't see any big changes in how, we, how everything is actually built. So yeah, the scrap. Yeah, the scrap can be anywhere. We just need a pump to get it upwards. And the water could be anywhere as well. So I'm thinking, let's do it in the order the... Uh, in the order everything is built. So first water. Can we go through? No, we can't. Okay. Mm. Is that, oh, is that the middle? No. And do it like that. And we can't go over there. Do it like that. One above and three below. Like that. Okay. Now I think I know how it works. And when I know that, of course, the distance changes. So this will be water. Yeah, we definitely needed to move this around. But hopefully we only needed to move it. I don't want to rebuild it. Okay, so if that's water, then we need the scrap. One, two, there we go. And we have the scrap over here. And then we need to get that done. Actually, let's do that at the same time as the water. No, wait, 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 wait. This is water, this is scrap, and this is oil. Oh yeah, I should have done it this way. One, two, one, two. Yep. And that fits perfectly. In. Of course, we need to change how the oil is uh, moved around over there. But apart from that, I think we just need to get down and hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we do have enough underground pipes. It was looking a bit low when you see 12 left, but it's only eight in my hand. It's not actually what is left from everything. Oh, and we can get this removed and I get all of this and now we need to figure out how to continue and the way to do that is to grab all of this I think create a blueprint with that save that blueprint guard it with our lives and get all of this removed <clears throat> and then should we just put it down again like over here or should we no I don't think so I think we should put it in place so water uh, scrap and oil okay let's see when we have that what we can actually do. If we connect it up like here. Uh, 
which is the exact same spot I grabbed it from. Hmm. Oh, the oil won't work because we don't have a pump for that. But the water we could get to work and the scrap we could get to work without problems. Um, but we need that pump. So one, two, oh, let's see. One, two, and three steps down. Yeah, I, I think we'll place it like this. We have to uh, we have to move this part of it. That's all, and probably this part as well. Okay, so doing it like this, we have the uh, pump like that. Oh, this was one step further than I wanted to. Okay, let's do that. Do this again, just grab it and replace it like this. Get that removed because that allows us to move to place the pipe and some underground pipes and another pipe. Meaning we should have everything we need for the uh, what do we call it? for the oil input. Now all we need is to change the oil output. And that's gonna be a little bit annoying. I know it, but... No, I want it one further down. Then this lines up uh, pretty nice. Yeah, like that, and it still lines up to the coal, which is not really important, but I want it to line up. Okay, oil, water. Yeah, so we need the lubricant to be manufactured somehow. Uh, if we think about the water first. Go underground again and we go like there. Go oh and like that I guess. That would hook up the water. We can remove it from over here. Goody. Then we need the scrap. The scrap we could lead from like over here or something like that. Oh yeah, we could just place the uh, the tank. We could just place that down here instead. And remove all of this, please. Place the tank over here. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. Never mind, place the tank over here. And then we have the, uh, okay, that one, there wasn't, was there any reason? Oh yeah, that was going up to the tank. So then we can have the pipe over here. Let's get rid of those. And possibly the pump. Something like that, I guess. Uh, underground pipe. And this is... Where we send our scrap. Let's get some power just to be able to see what we are doing. And all we need is the lubricant. And the lubricant. Mm, I don't really like this. I still want it kind of like this. So I guess it needs to be like this. We could possibly change it over here, but uh, nah. Okay, so the scrap, we are sending it up there. The, uh, oh yes, this is, 
Wait, what's that? That's the scrap, the lubricant. That's what we were working on. The lubricant... We could put it like this, but it feels wrong. Ideally, we want the... Uh, want the belt to continue here. And that means we want the underground pipe to go like that. That means we want the lubricant like that. Mm, or, or we want the lubricant like that. I think this is the least bad way we can do it. Because then we can have an underground pipe. We have that pipe. And over here we go underground immediately we go up here another underground pipe and we have this of course we shouldn't have disconnected yet um yeah and then oh a normal pipe over here to get lubricant in there this doesn't connect up to this oh okay um that was a mistake i guess That's not fixed. Is this okay? Yeah, I, I think this is kind of okay. Unless we move this down by one. Nah, it, it's not worth, worth the effort. I don't think it is at least. Okay, so let's get uh, some inserters. There we go. Oh, and let's get this connected. There we go. Now we, oh yeah. All we need now is to get the, uh, the red wires removed and replaced as they should be placed. And the easiest way to do that, I think, is either to know how to do it or just to tear down everything and do it that way okay wait this one should just pump yeah that's right should we move that down by one nah it's fine as it is Yeah, but we don't want one power pole for all of that. We want... We want... To provide power to that, but then we want to provide power to everything. Couple of ways. And yeah, let's actually have one power pole. If we get this removed, both of those pumps will uh, stop working. Oh yeah, we don't want... Yeah, this is water. We do want water. Um, so that's in place. This one, if we remove that. And of course, if we remove both, all of this oil stuff will stop working. Yeah, now we just need this one. And then we need to connect it to... Oh! There were actually space enough for that. So this will pump if the amount of petroleum gas is less than 250. And this will pump if the amount of petroleum gas is more than 200. Good. Let's cut this. And actually connect this one instead no this should be connected on this side damn it um that's a bit harder to do unless we move this over yeah okay found another problem we are working on fixing it Yeah, so if we, just for the sake of it, place a few 
pipes here just to mark out where we don't want things to be stored. Then we want this uh, chemical plant that is creating lubricant. We want that over there. We have this, we have that, we have this, and we have an underground pipe. It should be connected up, and we just need another power pole to actually power it. Then we need this one to connect over here. If we do it like this, There we go. Uh, and let's connect that. Let's leave this for the moment. How do we want to connect the pump? We can run through those. How far does the underground pipe go? That goes quite far, but we could place the pump immediately. Let's do that. And we just connect these two. And if the amount of petroleum gas is more than 200, we want to start this pump, getting things up. Okay, I think we have all of this set up now. We only need get the uh, to get the coal back of course this will just this will just work and we haven't changed anything over here making it a bit easier to do this change okay now all we need to do which is quite a lot to be honest is to oh, is to connect everything over here Okay, we have that in place, this one, we have uh, like that, and like that, and we have that for the scrap. Oh, we actually have built all of our uh, assembly machine freeze. That means that we have some space to build some storage tanks. Let's do that immediately. And while we are working at that, let's connect this up. And now everything should not start working. Yeah, well, we sh should actually get plastic, we should get lubricant, and we should get, eventually, express splitters. The problem will, of course, be when we uh, need to break down the petroleum gas because we can't do that so as soon as we fill up with light oil in our pipes everything and in these ones every everything will stop running there we go how many do we need 10 okay so we have one express split that means that we should uh, get it into place instead of that one and it also means that we should fill up with splitters over here and those splitters over here did I set this up correctly yes I did okay this should lead to everything working now all we need to do well we have a bit of petroleum gas, but again, we don't have, this doesn't work anymore because we have too much light oil. So what we need now is the, uh, is the water. Uh, but before we do that, let's, oh, let's plunk in. Yeah, we don't have our blueprints left. So let's just plunk in the, uh, the remaining tanks. 
Pretty good robots. Can carry a tank like it's nothing. But okay, do what do we have? We have two locomotives. Do we have uh, any fluid wagons? No, we need four of those. <clears throat> oh, and that takes tanks. Good that we added the tanks here first. But okay, water. Let's place the, uh, where do we have it? Locomotive is over here. Let's place that. Let's place the four fluid wagons and our other locomotive. Um, uh, come on. And fuel it, please. Okay, now all we need to do, well, this will be a problem for fuel. But we need to find a spot where we can set up some, uh, some water features. I'm thinking about here, obviously. Hmm, could we set up now? Nah, we have copper one. How does that actually look? No, I shouldn't set it up. I, I was thinking about using this line, but we shouldn't do that. We should have a separate line. Okay, let's grab this train and see where we go. Oh, maybe I should have uh, had more engines on the trains because it's quite slow to uh, accelerate. Let's stop once we pass this. Oh, come on. There we go. And then let's have a look over here. I mean, we could set it up over here, I guess. Is there space enough for that? Do we have... This is the same size. Yeah, there is space enough for a water station, but this it will be a temporary water station. There is not space enough for uh, for doing it permanently with tracks waiting and all of that. Oh, we actually had this as a blueprint. I thought we uh, deleted it. But that's one question. The second question is, how about power? Do we need to double up the power? Uh, but if we don't place it over there, the water stuff, then we don't have anywhere to place it at the moment. So let's just put it, o put it over here. And yes, it's gonna interfere with this line. So let's place it rather far to the right. Oh, and we don't have any tanks. Let's build a bunch of those. And let's get some underground pipes. And if I follow this waterline, please get back to me, robots. Oh, they are still working. Okay, let's get rid of this now. I'm tired of that stone. It's been there for ages and it's annoying me all the time. But if I follow this waterline, I think, oh yeah, it's even cut. It doesn't go any further. I think that nothing will uh, will be hooked up to it. Yeah, and here it's stopped, so let's uh, remove it and let's reuse that pump. Okay, 
and that and this. And we need the pump. Where did it go? That's not pump, that's burn a mining drill. There we go. Offshore pump. Good. So we are getting water into these uh, into these tanks. Let's just set this station up properly now. So this station will be water. Yes, thank you. And oh yes, I didn't realize that I can't just uh, turn the train around. So let's manually go back to well, not all the way, but let's go to this side of the of that junction instead. Then we could set everything up without this train being in the way. How much tracks do we have? Not enough. Okay, that's always good to know. Oh. Pressing the button once too many times. That's annoying. Okay, so that's where it's loading, but then we need to get it. We need to go back to the uh, to the train or to the other setup so let's do it like this and no I don't like this setup at all uh, but I do need some signals and let's just do it quick and dirty there we go Oh, no, 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 this should be both ways, but going out, we shouldn't have this side and the same over here. We should only have that side. Okay. Why is that signal flashing? Let it flash. So jump into that train, set the timetable. First we go to uh, belt water unload until inventory is empty. Then we go to water until inventory full. And please go to water now. And then I guess that while we are there, we will be able to see the color of the water and we can set up the, uh, the color of the, the locomotives and the stations by talking about colors. Oh, yeah. Uh, when we set this up, why didn't we get power poles set up? Oh, we did, but the power poles aren't connected to anything. Uh, okay. Let's just quickly connect it. Oh, we have already filled up all of those tanks and these. Oh yeah, these are, these are turned the wrong way. Those will fill up immediately. Let's go to manual, I guess. Oh. But it actually empties out all of our stored water. So now we are waiting for the... Okay, we are waiting for the offshore pump to provide enough water. That's good information because that means that when we set this up for real, we will need more uh, tanks. But yeah, let's set up the, the color of the train. And we want basically this color, which is kind of bluish green. Mm. Like that, but a bit, a bit darker, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, something like that. That actually works out kind of. Copy and then we set it up on this side as well. And then let's jump into the train and set it to automatic. How much do we have left? 25k times 4 in each, that's 75, 150, that's 300k. And we're at 288, so soon, soon, soon we will have this run. And then we will see if it actually works as we want to, or if something is terribly wrong. <clears throat> and my guess is that something is terribly wrong. That seems to be the way these things go. But we will find out in just a minute. Let's see. Look how fast that unloads. And then of course we don't have enough tanks. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, our water. It's going down here and down here. This is running. And this is running. And these are running again. Yes, goody. Of course we have to catch up a bit now. And we also have quite a bit of splitters to create. That's running full pelt. Oh, and it stopped. That's actually good. That means that we have uh, everything we need. So what we want to see now is that this have been activated. It have because it have some petroleum gas. So, I mean, I don't want to see it, but that's the calculation I did, that it will be full. So let's see if we did the calculations right or wrong. And we will actually see that by just leaving this uh, piece out. And then we will see if everything stops because we have too much petroleum gas. Then everything is as I expect it to be. Otherwise, we have to figure something out. But we need to do more than that. I think we should... Oh, we got rid of the pumps for some reason. How the pumps? think we had loads of pumps, didn't we? Don't tell me that I used up all of our pumps. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's true. Oh well. Maybe I did. But let's... Uh, Move some pumps, because we want to make sure that for these two scrap parts, we only want to get things into that. So setting up a pump, and then we have the underground belt. That way it flows into this, but not out of it. And then we need the stuff from over here to be transported over to this and this as well. And we will do that somehow. First of all, let's place another pump over there. And then we can go... Ooh. I don't like this. I rather want it to be like this. And then we have the pump there. And we have another pump there. And sure, this is off by a bit, but... It makes it way easier to work with everything over in this area. Okay, so this is the petroleum gas. Can we hook it up like over here, maybe? That works. 
We didn't deserve that. Mm. Let's make sure we don't have this power on. We don't. Good. Because then we get the petroleum gas down here and over here. And everything seems to be good in the world. Uh, and we could probably empty everything out. And then we have the uh, light oil. Which we need to... I want it to go to the side. Could do it like this and have the pump all the way over here and that should go in here let's place it at basically the same location just for the fun of it and there and here and oh that doesn't reach Okay, so this should be light oil and we just need to connect it up over here. Yes, and let's get some power to these pumps. And let's get some power to these pumps. And we are basically emptying out, oh, emptying out all of these uh, storage tanks to make sure that we get everything over here where we can create a train later on to get to collect everything. Okay, but the water train, that's fine. Everything seems to be doing quite okay now. Of course, we don't have the the largest throughput over here. What's happening over here? We don't have... Let's see. We don't have anything. Well, we have that one being created. We are creating more lubricant. This... Are full. We don't have a lot of petroleum gas over here. This one isn't full. What is... That's not running, and that's not running. We have too much lubricant, or uh, heavy oil, I mean. Did I miscalculate it? I actually hope I did, because if I did, we don't need this. We don't need to uh, get things out of here. Where's all of the... Uh, all of the copper wire? I have probably messed up the calculations on this one. I think I have. Uh, this was and will be the most difficult calculation to do in the f in the whole game. And as we have seen, I have messed it up over here. But that's kind of okay. We have that. We have no petroleum gas. We have to see what is what's happening further along the road. If we get problems with too much petroleum gas, we are prepared to just pump it away. If we, on the other hand, get problems with uh, with not enough petroleum gas then it is as I hope and then we can set up to break down the heavy oil into light oil that we further break down into petroleum gas and that's the way we want it but the way I don't see it becoming why do we have this piece of belt
But yeah, it seems like everything is... Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to change the color of this station. There we go. Actually, this station as well. And if you please can go to copper. Then we... Oh. Oh, I can't even go to manual because then they will start unloading uh, the coal. I forgot to set up uh, signals for this one. Okay. Uh, input signals over there, over there, over there. Output signals over here, over here, and over here. And yes, I was able to uh, to grab the train before it left. I did not think I would I would be able to do that. I thought that was a lost case. <clears throat> but let's uh, make sure the colors of the stations are in order. And once that's done, we just go back and. Uh, This, please go to ion, this train, go to manual please, what happens with this, belt copper unload copper, oh no, I copy pasted the color but I actually copy pasted the uh, the timetable as well. I only meant to do the color, but yeah. Okay, let's set up the timetable for this. So we need this to be first go to do, 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 copper one until inventory full, and then we want to go to not the turnaround. What's a uh, raw it have to be? Until inventory empty or time passed 30 seconds. And then let's copy the color. And paste it on this side and over there. And please enter this train, go to automatic. And then I think we have the last train station to to fix as well. And that should of course be this the train station for the copper stuff. And there we go. Anything else? Anything else at all? That we have we have the water set up, we have the maybe the coal. I mean we could say that this is not the actual uh, the actual black coal because we have black oil. And having black coal we can't see a difference between them. Let's say that this is instead some ugly brown coal, which is basically, oh wait, brown, how do you make brown in this? That's actually quite a nice color, but it's not coal color. Okay, no blue. Red, green, green, red, and... Oh, but if we start at black and then just make it just a bit brownish, 
like that. Yeah, I think that kind of works. That kind of works, definitely. And then please go to coal station. And we have uh, refueled everything except the oil down here. Except the oil and water. Oh yeah, the oil station we want to make sure that have the correct color as well. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, but I, I think this looks kind of okay. Okay, how much do we have? We only have like 1k in each and it should be 2k's. Okay. Uh, when I'm aboard, you don't have to finish it. I rather want it to actually <laughs> get me done and make it possible for me to finish the episode than to make it nice. Not that I can't finish the episode as it is, of course. But when we're at it, let's make sure we get the correct color of everything. Okay. And the, the petroleum gas and the light oil, we don't have any anything for that actually. Let's not. Let's just copy that and walk over to the station. That's way faster than to actually run over there. And everything is filled up. I'm thinking, should we just say that we, we refill everything to get all the pumps working again? Now they actually have quite a bit of oil left. It doesn't really matter. They will fill up pretty quickly again, I guess. Oh, but there's one thing we definitely should do. We should replace all of the uh, splitters in this factory. Turning the right way up, of course. Just to make sure that we are not getting ourselves into uh, more trouble with this factory. It should be basically finished. Mm, that one, that one. And that one, this one, this one, and this one, these ones doesn't have anything over here, don't have any splitters, any others, oh, yeah, here we have a splitter, there we go, anything else now? I think that should be all of the splitters. Oh, and the splitters we have collected. Let's get those back in the, into the system. Let's grab those and actually change this to a hundred splitters in storage. Yeah, we don't have any petroleum gas right now. We will see what happens. We will find out. But why don't we have lamps over here? Oh, we do. I think I forgot about lamps when I was creating, recreating this for like the third time. These lamps, one lamp over there and one lamp over here. And it's okay. Goody. Oh, there's our robot. Let's collect that before we end the episode. And then we just say thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.